As I stood looking at the sun, I wondered if I looked directly into it, would I go blind? Or is the jacking off that makes me blind? And there's a bee! Oh my god, let me get out of here! Okay, stop thinking about such things because it doesn't matter. We gotta get back to the temple because in the last episode... Oh, by the way, hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. In the last episode, we defeated Amorbus, the almighty boss of Dark Aegon. We got the light energy back from Dark Aegon, and now we have to take it back to Light Aegon. The only problem is, the only way to harness this energy is by doing it at the temple. Like, it's the only place you can put it. And so we have to fall because we're too stupid to take on space pirates and whatever. So shoot, 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 and shoot your ass off. Are these dark? I think they're dark. No, they're not. Well, they look dark. Okay, actually, they don't. My bad. You know what? Missile your ass. I'm done with you. I really am a little too conservative with missiles, you know that? I should just go all out with them more often. I mean, later in the game, that does become a little bit of an issue, running out of missiles, but it's not like some huge thing. I mean, at this point especially, if you get all the missile expansion packs that you can get, then usually you won't have a problem early in the game. Here we go, second platform, you can jump to the temple from here, which is a nice little shortcut, so you don't have to do that room all the time. And here we are. Ooh, it's bright in here. Did I scan? I, I did scan you guys, didn't I? I did. I'm just gonna take it on faith that I did. Now I'm just jumping all over the place. What is this up here? It's the Wheel of Fortune, dude. And for my next trick, around the world! No. Okay, so what's here now? What's gonna spawn in here? Oh, something. Yeah. Or was. Big deal. Big whoop. Hey, but guess what? Now that we have those two doors in here, that dark door and that light door, we can go see what's behind those. We couldn't do that before. And I'd like to go see what I can get, man. I want to see. I don't actually know. I think it's parts of this world that we don't need to be going to yet. At least one of them is. But that remains to be seen. I'll, I'll probably recognize it when I see it. I just have no idea. It's like you're done with this area now. You brought the light back to the temple. What else is there to do? Aside from get more expansions, which is probably, ultimately, what I'm going to end up doing in there. Stretch. Oh my god. Did you get any more... Lordy, the electricity. It's a shocking experience. Wait a minute, she's gone from suck to blow! Pretty much. She's putting the energy back. They get this close-up shot of her face here. Like, yeah, I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. Here's your energy back. You also are going to want to make sure, every time you do this, to go back and see Umos back at the, back at the temple grounds so that he can give you your next translator module upgrade. Otherwise, you won't be able to progress for shit. Unless, of course, you know ghetto jumping and you can skip the dark suit, then you can do that. I can't even really explain. Like, I mean, I know where it is that you do it, but at the same time, it's kind of weird. Yay! There's light coming back! Oh my gosh! It's so cool, because, like, he's far away, and yet he can still see that we succeeded. So you know that the moment you're doing it, you know he's thinking about you. I don't know, it's hard to explain that. It's like, I mean, sure, when you talk on the phone to somebody, you know they're thinking about you, but this is different, because they have no, like, communication. And Isha does his final bow. Or her final vow. Bow. I don't know. Yeah! Alright. So that's one out of three temples done. It's pretty much one-third through the game, as if. <laughs> No, I don't think we're one-third through the game. Maybe one-fourth, but not quite. I mean, look at my missiles right now, 35 max. You can get up to, I believe it's 255. Actually, I know it is. It's usually only 250, but there's an upgrade in here that gives you five missiles along with, what it, along with it. I don't want to spoil what it is, but it doesn't technically count as a missile, so technically you only get 250 for missiles. But uh, because the upgrade gives you five... You know, whatever. Now, technically, you get the dark beam first before the light beam, so chances are that if I go through the dark door, it's going to be something more likely 
that I can actually do now. Of course, you get them so close together that I don't even know if it matters. Oh, I know exactly where this goes. I, I already know without even looking. Except we can get something here, so I'd like to do that. It's a little tricky. It involves some bomb jumping, and these pill bugs don't die. So you pretty much have to do the double bomb jumps like that to uh, do this. I think that's the only one you have to do. And just keep rolling to the left until you stop at a certain point here. Now this is going to be tricky. When you get up here, when you fall here, don't keep going left. You're going to want to stop in the middle here. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, and then bomb jump here. And this is how you get the energy tank. Sweet. It's nothing like letting go of that stick, the sound it makes, along with the... It's excellent. That wasn't so bad. The problem with this area is you can't never rush through it. You can never rush through it because of the pill bugs and... Oh, purple door? How many more colors of doors are they going to come up with in these games? My god. You know, especially when you're going the other way and the pill bugs go the opposite way as you. I mean, it doesn't matter that much because you just got an energy tank, so you're full on energy, so you can take a little bit of damage, and they only do, like, singular, singular digit damage, so it doesn't even matter. Of course, when I say they only do single digit damage, I could be referring to them cutting off your fingers. You know, single digit, get it? No, I'm just kidding. Can we just, like, jump across? No, I'm not gonna do that. I like taking the outside. It's fun. Any excuse to ball up and just ball around, I say. Why not? Alright, let's check this out. Oh, actually, I think I know where this goes, too. Yup, this is exactly what I... Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I remember this better than I thought. Of course, you don't know that because I didn't say what I thought it was going to do. This actually is going to go to a power bomb door. But if I'm not mistaken, I think you can get an upgrade here, too. An expansion, I mean. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I love this 3D morph ball areas like these. Hmm. This 3D morph ball areas, and you're just you're just all kinds of grammar today, aren't you? Yeah, that was a power bomb door, in case you didn't know, in case you never played Super Metroid. But if you keep going here, I believe you hit another dead end, no? You hit a light door. I think there's actually a missile expansion in there. I wanna go back and check. I just wanna make triple sure here. Yeah, I think there's something here. I think I just... Yeah, I just got an idea. Mm, I, you can barely make that, but, uh... Shit, I didn't do that right. Oh, just barely. And we get a missile expansion, yeah. I'm glad I checked this out then, because I knew there was going to be something here. Something here. So you got an energy tank in one, missile expansion in the other. But I don't know where this door goes here. This might be an elevator to, like, a future... Oh, this goes back here! Okay. You know what? Scan you. Scan your leg. Scan your, uh... Calf. Yeah, that's what it is. Beastle's Testament? Beazle? I can go no further. Here in this reactor, I go to join my fallen mate Jaystil in final rest. Though I die with honor, a shame falls on my house until the key I seek reaches its destination. May my brothers find my burden, that the way to the Sky Temple will be opened at last. Okay. Anytime that you see, like, these guys that have, like, statements, and they're talking about keys and stuff, that means that there's a key nearby. But, it's not a key that you're going to be able to get right now, and this we can't do until we have the Spire Ball anyway, so I don't care. And there's no point in going further, because that was the room where we fought Dark Samus, actually, if you didn't know. And I guess maybe going into that room could act as a shortcut to somewhere. But I just don't see how. I don't think that's how it's going to get me out of here any quicker. It might. I'm not actually sure which way is quicker, to be honest. When you're going back this way, now you're at the temple, which is pretty much the opposite of the entrance. If the temple is your goal, the entrance is where you start, so maybe this is the wrong way to go. But I thought that where we fought Dark Samus was in the middle of, like, a big circle of space pirate doomery. And not exactly a... Not exactly a place I really think would take us to the beginning any quicker. Besides, this way, you know, it's like that door that goes to the temple that you don't know goes to the temple. And it turns out it goes to the temple, and then you're like, oh, this goes to the temple. So I think I'm gonna go to the temple. Okay, let's get out here. This is the way out, and this was definitely quicker, so yeah. Glad I did this. 
Instead of falling for that crap. Instead of falling for that crap! Anyways. Yeah, baby. So for now, we're pretty much done with Aegon. Not much else we can do here. There's probably maybe one or two things, I don't know. Maybe some bombable walls or something, I don't know. If you ever wonder where the way is to get back to the beginning of the area, just look for the like, symbol right here, and that will tell you. The door underneath that goes pretty much back to Temple Ground, so that's how you remember. That's how I remember, anyway. Grass. You can scan grass. Kiss my ass. Let's get in the bitches, get in the bitches. Oh my god, yesterday I was recording Donkey Kong 64, and I was playing that stupid ass, what is it called, Beaver Bother? And for the first, like, 20 minutes that I was recording that, I was like, get in their bitches, get in their bitches, get in their bitches. I was saying, get in their bitches. But it just got to a point where I was saying it so much that I was like, get in their bitches, get in their bitches, get in their bitches. So, oh my god. You'll probably see some of it in the bonus episode. There's a bonus episode of all my fails. And it's just, the bonus episodes for Donkey Kong 64 are the absolute most ridiculous thing I may have ever done. Because I don't even know, like, it's just so ridiculous. So full of fail, so full of me talking about stuff that has nothing to do with anything. Jeez, they don't clean up around here. I said that last time, but I just didn't make it clear enough, I don't think. Hmm. Oh, you know what we can do now? I didn't even think about this. Remember these doors here that we couldn't get through at the very beginning? We can do this now. Which doesn't really matter much, but I think we can do this now. Because this pretty much goes to a door, and then you're going to see another one. Yeah. I got another one. Wait, I'm not through the door yet. <laughs> Security clearance approved. Let's go. This is pretty much where we first started the game. And all these plants waving back and forth here. And there was that thing that was a decoration. And then this is where we jumped down. We're going to do it again, this time with a dark suit. So I look a little more like you guys than I did before. Hello. What have we here? Okay, check it out. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I don't get this guy first. Okay, I, I don't know why they made this guy out to be a boss. I'm not sure. Because he has like a boss um, life bar. But all you got to do is charge a dark beam. And then missile. And that's it. That's all you do. Missile expansion. Apparently that's the guy that originally stole your missiles in the game, and now you got those five missiles back. Even though the missile launcher that you pick up is like an entirely different one. Sorry if I keep reaching up and touching my head. Touching my nose, man. Well, we already scanned everything there was to get here. However, this time we have, we have a lot more than we did last time we came through here, and I think we have everything we need to actually get through and pick up all the stuff in this area that we couldn't get before. Which isn't that much, but... Yeah, these guys hanging from the ceiling, I'm telling you. What is this, a horror game? Jeez, man. You wouldn't know it. I mean, well, you would know it, but... Oh, hello! Yeah, that dark beam trick is actually going to be extremely useful. You charge the dark beam, and it freezes enemies. So it's not all the way... I mean, it is kind of like the ice beam, but you have to charge it to actually freeze some enemies. Which means that it uses... You know, so you're going to be using ammo along with the whole thing. So it takes five ammo to actually freeze an enemy. But then you get to actually missile the enemy and watch it die. So there is some pleasure in that, I guess. And here's the room at the beginning where we went to the warp. That doesn't seem so long ago at all. And of course, remember this hole here that we went into. But there's a hole next to it that we could bomb out. And, if we get in there, we get ourselves a missile expansion! Hell yeah! I think that's 45 now. Which is still a pretty small fraction of what we're going to have total. And you're going to need them, boy, let me tell you. I still haven't actually beaten the final boss of this since 2006, or whenever I played it back then. Because I got to him, but I didn't have all my dark and light ammo. I had like 150, and then I had... Like, maybe 160 for missiles. I don't think there's anything else to do in here. I think that missile expansion is really all there was. So you kind of take the elevator and just go back up. 
not a big deal. Well, we, we will be coming back close to here to get an upgrade later. And now we just need to get back to Temple Grounds, which is right in front of our faces, so hell yeah. At least, well, the curtains are in front of our faces, so that kind of makes sense, but not really. Fortunately, now that we have the space jump, we don't have to work our way all around the room to get where we're going. Hmm. Remember this bridge we shot down at the beginning? Oh, the memories, and then we go into the Jaws of Death. Looks like the Jaws. Looks like a shark. Let's see here now. Yeah, I remember, you remember how I was saying before, I was like scanning stuff like crazy in here, and I found a couple of bombable walls. But of course, back then, I couldn't bomb them because I didn't have the bombs, so... Now it's just a matter of me remembering where they were. I know where one of them is, but there was a second one. But even if I knew where the second one was, I wouldn't be able to uh, get it right now because it's Denzium. So notice the cage bars. How I said before, that goes to the temple, so that's how you remember. That's kind of just my little way of... You know, mapping things out in my head so I know where stuff is. It's far from perfect, let me tell you, when we get to these later areas. Oh my god, the third area. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. The second area is not too bad. There's more about the second area I could say, but most people are probably never going to know. So, poop. It's too bad, too. Okay, um, one of them was in here. Well, was it in here? Wait a minute, we couldn't do this before. That's right, we couldn't do this before. I'm trying to think of where that save point was. There we go, and then you just go in here, roll around really carefully, find a straight shot, and... It took a second, but we made it. <laughs> I'm covering up my mouth again, my god. Then again, someone did tape my... or glue... super glue my mouth shut at the beginning of the episode. Or was that last episode? I don't even remember kind of just been doing a lot of crap here. This is the way we came. I didn't mean to go this way. Now, which way did we actually come in from here? Oh, that's right. We can't go back to that yet. Because that closed off behind us. Man, that kind of sucks. Anyway. We need to go see Umos here. So let's go do that. I believe he gives us the uh, next level of... I can never remember if it's him or, like, the guy at the empty light temple when you get there that gives you the next thing. Whatever. It might not be him at all. Well, he unlocks the next area for you to go, so he has to give you the next thing. I would guess. But then... But then what does the guy at the empty temple give you? Like, Isha gave us the orange translator module thing, didn't he? Maybe that's the only time. I don't know. Oh, I thank you for restoring energy to the Temple of Aegon. Well, you're welcome. Can I go now? Your valor honors the Luminoth. Those who have passed and those who remain here under my protection as they sleep in deep stasis. Much like me. Be on guard, for the Ing do not suffer defeat lightly. They will surely seek revenge for your actions. I didn't do anything to them. I just brought the light back. They struck first. Uh, yeah, no doubt. They should double their efforts. I hope so, Commander, for your sake. The Torvus Sector. The enemy is not as forgiving as I am. Bum, 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 I'm not staying in key. It don't matter anyway. Alright, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Now, did I scan you? Yes, I did. Did I scan all the guys downstairs in the stasis tanks? I may have. Wait, I don't think he updated my translator. Well, I wasn't paying attention if he did or not. I guess the amber one is what you need to get to the next area. Well, I guess that would make sense. That's how you skip the dark suit altogether. Is because you get... Well, then, could you skip the second area? Like, with the... Like, you get to the next translator module in the middle of that area when you visit the empty temple there. Um, what the heck? Yeah, I kind of messed up there. Yeah, you get the amber one here, and then you get the green one in the middle of Torvis. So you could just leave there and go straight to Sanctuary from there. 
which is over here. Yeah. Huh. Never even thought about that before, I guess. There's probably not much you could do there, though, because you wouldn't have the upgrades from whatever. So now we finally get to use these things, which is shooting them. Now that I think about it, I think I did miss another upgrade back by my ship. Mm, huh. What are these guys, anyway? Guess we could have a look. Well, if I could get a hold of you there. What are these? Harmony class drone, rogue maintenance unit. No, whatever. And then you can scan this again after you've moved it. How weird is that? Yeah, motivator unit has burned out. So technically, I guess it is scannable because now it's been used. That's really weird. That's what I was talking about earlier, where you can scan the elevator stuff after you've already done it. It's very peculiar. What's also peculiar is that it seems like all three of these rooms have something in them. All three of the rooms leading to the elevators. I could be wrong. It seems like elevator rooms never really... Elevator rooms usually don't have anything in them, but there is an exception to that rule, as you will see. And it is in this very game, so yeah. I should probably turn this off pretty soon, because we're heading off to Torvis here. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to stop there. See you guys next time. I'm sorry I didn't really get much done in this episode. I kind of just wandered around. But yeah, so uh, whatever. Maybe we'll do more next time. See you guys later.